Your health is top priority. That's why we at Bluff City Life on Action News 5 are proud to team up with West Cancer Center to bring you Cancer Watch, where we showcase the latest advancements in cancer fighting technology, including the new cutting edge imaging service for prostate cancer. And let me tell you, West Cancer is the first in the Mid-South to receive this one. I'm at the West Cancer Center with Mr. Strain, and he's going to share with us some of the signs to look for and things about prostate cancer. Thank you, Mr. Strain, for joining me. Thank you, Gina. Okay, so let's right off the top. Tell me, what is something that someone can look for, like for screening purposes, to get checked for prostate cancer? So the American Cancer Society recommends, uh, has different guidelines based on individual risk factors, mm -hmm. right? So for men who are at average risk for prostate cancer, uh, the recommendation is for screening to begin at around age 50 and, and above. Is it hereditary? Uh, genes do play a role, right? Genetics play a role, uh, lifestyle factors play a role. What is the current standard process for prostate cancer screening? So generally that begins with lab work, generally okay. speaking, uh, and then depending on what lab values result, uh, subsequent biopsy might be recommended depending uh, on again, provider and patient consultation. Mm -hmm. uh, and if that biopsy then results in showing disease, that's where, that's where this procedure could be a useful clinical tool uh, in following the patient's care to the next step if the clinician is concerned about the spread of the disease. Mm -hmm. So is there any kind of imaging that you can do to get more information? Uh, and that's actually what this is. This is what the PET PSMA imaging is. Uh, PSMA? For. PSMA. And what does that stand for? PSMA stands for prostate specific membrane antigen, which is a whole lot of a whole lot of words, right? But really in a nutshell, what that is defining is a unique protein signature, right? It's a unique protein signature that uh, that that lives on the surface of prostate cancer cells. So by imaging with this radiopharmaceutical, we can see where in the body these prostate cancer cells are. And are these usually discovered like when a person has an annual or anything like that? Or what has to happen for them to need that? Right. So again, it goes back to the, to the original screening, right? So if you, have, uh, if you have blood work taken and then those lab results show elevated PSA levels, for example, uh, a subsequent biopsy might show disease, and if the, if the clinician is concerned about the spread of that disease, uh, that's where this, this imaging procedure could be a very useful clinical tool. So West was the first place to get this new imaging, so how did you guys come to do that? In the West Network, we have an incredibly robust clinical research program, uh, in addition to a diverse radiology program. So all of the major modalities that are relevant in oncologic imaging are represented here. We have CT, MR, ultrasound, we do interventional procedures, oh. and nuclear medicine and PET CT, which is what we're talking about today. Mm -hmm. And we have world-renowned physicians, we have clinical researchers, we have uh, diverse subspecialists that all work together to see what's coming down the pipeline that uh, patients in the Memphis community could utilize most. So Mr. Strain, where can our viewers learn more about this imaging tool? They can visit our website, and of course they can speak to their, to their trusted physicians about uh, what imaging services are offered here at West. Uh, and then we can provide those imaging services for their community clinicians and their patients.